painter. Uh, I do the the music and I play guitar live and we perform and this is... Uh, hi I'm Yaz from Lonely Painter. I'm the lead singer and I slightly contribute to the writing process but only with a bit of scat. <laughs> <laughs> there is, you know is there is there a soul to this place or is it that you have to find your own? Um, I think we find it in the park. Yeah, the park's good. I think that the park has actually been probably the most important place in our writing of music. Yeah. Because even if we're not actually writing there, like spending time there and just just enjoying the sun, like, differently. We've been playing, like, like sort of messing around with covers and stuff for, a, a, like, a couple of years, but then we started um, getting down to Lonely Painter um, writing in sort of spring last year, sort of. Yeah. And then we recorded it in summer, so... Alright, uh, well, recorded, it's all just done on my computer and a bit in the bit in various places. Uh, I'll just record, uh, I'll use probably some samples for the drums, probably sampled from uh, other drummers, I was like Questlove or something, DeAngelo's drummer. Um, and then I'll just kind of build the music around those samples. Um, and then I'll get Yazin to record the vocals, um, record the other bits and pieces, sometimes get some friends to do, I've got some friends to do uh, saxophone and trumpet for our first, first song which is really cool. Um, but live, uh, we get all our friends together to the big six-piece band. So we've had a... Uh, we've got um, me, on, me on guitar and backing vocals, lead vocals, our friend George Petrie on electric keys, Ben Vise on saxophone, uh, Aaron Ferrucci on drums, and Ashley Wagner on bass. So that's the, the difference. It's a more, much bigger sound. Is that... Amazingly um, fun. <laughs> like the best, the best thing in the world. There's nothing like it. Steve. Probably Stevie D'Angelo and Amy Winehouse would be the biggest ones. Yes, yeah, yeah. For the sort of sound, the sort of cohesive sound that we yeah. go for, yeah. For the sound, yeah. Nice. Um, like with D'Angelo, he has a lot of political stuff in his music. Um, political messages. Do you ever have that kind of stuff, or do you wish to trade stuff like think. that? Uh, I don't think we have yet, but I, <laughs> I think, think I have written stuff. But uh, for like what we've got recorded, definitely not. <laughs> but what we've got recorded is mainly just quite generic kind of topics. But uh, kind of, it's more about how uh, when I was writing the lyrics of those first songs, it was more about fitting it to a melody. Um, but with these new songs, there's been more like actual thought into lyrics before the songs actually started and that's been the case with quite a few of the new ones yeah so it's sort of just improving with time I think yeah. in the writing process yeah I think together we do have a quite a I mean it's, it's not always the same formula but you sit down you're playing me a song I'll sit there and sort of take it all in and then we'll like just talk about it um, I remember there was a day we just we sat in the garden outside and just like played through it and like oh, changed things around and thought up lyrics together and then there have been a few occasions where Laurie's sitting there like trying to concentrate really hard on writing the lyrics and I'm just like I have to be there because my presence is useful <laughs> but my words aren't so I just like sit and like play a game or like just don't talk Jelly Splash but yeah I play Jelly Splash and I think it's a very val valuable contribution to the um, Bye. 